Today we're going to be refinishing this pair of nightstands creating a deep thin look with the help of a natural looking stain and a bright color and also giving you an update on our new puppy so stay tuned. Hi I'm Walesa, welcome back to a light refurbish where you are reminded through furniture refinishing that there's hope doesn't matter how tough things get. Just in case you guys are wondering these are not antique or vintage pieces they are from a big box store but what I like about them is that the drawer slides were made of solid wood I felt like they were a good candidate for some refinishing. You can tell the tops have been well loved and as I started removing the hardware and started to clean in. As you know, I use cleaning as an opportunity to fully inspect my piece and make an assessment so I can figure it out how to best achieve the desired look, which like I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to do for a deep in look. So I'm going to be sanding the upper part of the nightstands to bare wood. The rest is getting painted with an earthy tone with purple undertones. Upon inspection, I discovered that the nightstands were made with three different materials, regular wood, MDF and particle board. In this slide, I'm sharing with you the main difference between the two. MDF uses just finer granular particles for a more homogeneous density with smooth tight edges, while particle board is formed with less refined wood fragments and offers low cost stability at the expense of the strength and durability. That's a real wood trim. You can see the pores and this is MDF here at the bottom. You can really tell the difference. Wood, press wood, wood. In case you're wondering why is Walesa even explaining all of that? Well, because today I'm breaking a rule when it comes to sanding. The veneer that's covering that top MDF is a really thin layer of wood that's really, really nice and I want to preserve it as is, which means that I don't want to sand through it. To avoid that risk, I'm using a 220 grit sanding sheet. If for some reason the veneer doesn't take on the stain like it should, I can always apply another coat. As I mentioned at the beginning, I am going for a dipped in look, which means that the upper part of the nightstands are going to be sanded down completely to bare wood. The rest of them is getting a really good scuff sand with 120 grit. As you might imagine, sanding something down to bare wood with details like these nightstands have takes all the tools in the arsenal. <laughs> Hand grip, surf prep, scraper, I use it all. It took two days to get these pieces sanded and about five hours each day. After I was done sanding them, I cleaned them with mineral spirits, let them sit overnight and the next day I mixed these two water-based gel stains from Lily Moon Paint to give the wood a natural, neutral color. Misting the surface before applying the stain helps the workability of it and also how long your open work time is. Of all the different ways that you can apply this stain, my favorite one is using this foam brush. Since these water-based stains dry so fast, I like to work in sections to make sure 
that my finish is as even as possible. I only let the stain sit for a few seconds before I start wiping it down. Remember, these stains dry very fast. You'll find that along here, when I wipe, some of that stain accumulates there. I'm just gonna get rid of that by using the brush. This brush helps you achieve a more even finish. I kind of like doing this after using the foam brush, so it's totally up to you. One of the reasons why I love these stains so much is because they dry so fast that if I wait a couple of hours, I can normally keep going with the rest of my makeover. So here I'm just using a pencil to trace where I'm going to be taping so I can keep the upper part of the nightstands covered up to protect them from any overspray since I'm going to be priming and painting the bottom of them. To prevent any paint from seeping through the tape, I like to apply a coat of clear top coat before spraying my white primer. For the sake of transparency, I have to let you know that the first coat of primer didn't go as smooth as I like it to. The product that was coming out was creating some texture and in some areas it was too heavy so there were a couple of drips. It's my fault because I normally test a couple of sprays on a piece of cardboard which I didn't do. That's why I'm where I'm at right now.
but you have two options when you have texture and some drips when it comes to primer you can try and address the drips right away however that's not ideal since primer settles down right away at least the bean shellac white primer that i use does so what i do is after i apply three coats of it i let it dry overnight and the next day i come back with a 300 grit sanding sheet and give it a scalp sand until everything is nice and smooth and I get rid of any texture the primer might have. There was a little bit of a gap between the inlay and the wood veneer so I just used some wood filler to fill in those areas. I also use some of that wood filler to fill in the holes where the old hardware was and you might notice where I fill those in. The reason why I wasn't super worried about how smooth or how perfectly filled those were is because I'm actually going to be drilling in the same exact spot for the new hardware. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that the new screws were going to fit through and that's why I put in some wood filler in there. And I love a good paint color as much as I do neutral finishes. These gorgeous purple from Lily Moon Paint is called Gilly Flower and it pairs with that neutral beautifully. If you guys remember my makeover from a few weeks ago, I also have a dresser that has a bluish gray bottom, the same deep in look. Well, the customer that purchased that dresser asked me to recreate the deep in look using these gorgeous colors. So these pieces are going to be sharing the same bedroom. I feel like I sound like a broken record because guess what? Once again, I forgot to record myself applying three coats of the top coat, my favorite one, high performance from General Finishes. For the final touches and the following day, I drill new holes for the hardware and let's take a quick look to where these nightstand started. And this is how they look now. As always, I would love to read what you guys think of today's makeover in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week.